Hello everyone, this is Elric IT and in today's video I will show you how to download and run Shell in a Box. Shell in a Box is a web-based terminal emulator and it lets you access via web to your Linux server's terminal through any port that you choose. So we'll start by downloading the Shell in a Box service but let me first access to my Linux server um, which is an Ubuntu server. You can run this feature on any Linux distro. It could be a Debian based or a Fedora based or any other of your choice. But I'm gonna be using an Ubuntu server. So the first thing to do is to download the uh, Shell in a Box service. As I said before, if you are not root, uh, you just have to run the sudo command and then apt space install space shell, um, shell in a box. Uh, tell your password and then wait for it to complete downloading so once it does um, this is pretty much you have to do um, but let me tell you something the default port for shell in a box is the 4200 um, which is the one you you will have to use if you do not change it but I recommend you to change it because Default ports are always targeted by malicious people, hackers, and anyone that wants just to make harm. Um, so you should change it uh, to any port between 1 and uh, 55 and 535, I guess, which is the port range. Uh, so I'll show you how to change it. I'm going to change it to HTTPS port, which is the 443. So we're going to access our directory which is located at um, I mean the file that we're gonna edit located at um, slash etc slash default and here is the file that we're gonna edit which is called show in the box I'm gonna be using the nano text editor to edit this file um, so the first and then this is as simple as changing this um, Port, well, you will see something like this 4200, but uh, you just have to change it to whatever port you want. I'm gonna be changing it to 443, and then okay, now let's try another port, for example, um, 8080. So I'm gonna save changes, I'm gonna restart the show in the box service so it updates the port that we're gonna be using now. Instead of the 4200, uh, we're gonna be using the 8080 port, so we just have to restart the service for it to update it. So, service shell in a box restart, and then my password. We're gonna confirm that the server is actually listening on the 8080 port by issuing the command netstat, netstat space dash plan space grep. Uh, I mean pipe then grab and 440 and I mean it's 8080 so as you can see the server is actually listening on TC port, uh, TCP port 8080 and not on 4200 nor 443 so it's listening on 8080 for the shell in a box service so this is pretty much everything you have to do on this, uh, the command line interface. We're gonna go to our web browser. I'm gonna access it from my Windows 10 PC. And I'm gonna type the IP address of my Ubuntu server, which is this one. Let me get it from here. Okay, so I just have to type um, HTTPS then the IP address, double colon, and the port that you are using for shell in the box. So it's gonna ask you to accept whatever risk, I just accept it, and it's gonna prompt on the web browser your server's terminal, so you just have to type your credentials, and now you're in, so you can do whatever you want, um, cd, on my root folder 
and well you can do whatever you want memory pc default um, show in the box which was the default that i just edited and so um, this is as easy as it is so i hope you find it useful if so please uh, leave a like on this video and also if you have any doubt or, or run into any troubles leave a comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll be uploading videos like this every week every week thank you for watching